and he lived until early, the, about four o'clock the next morning. And how would you and your family notify all your siblings and your mother? How were y'all notified? Well, they were all out at my house. It was 4th of July and everybody had holidays and they were out at my house for lunch that day. Except my father wasn't there. He, you know. But your mother was there with you? But my mother and we were all there and Ms. Con Mr. and Ms. Connor lived there in Comanche. And um, my father lived long enough to tell them where to call to, to get a hold of his folks. Well, we all got a, what do you call it when they send you a card to summons to come and be there? So we all went down there for the trial. And of course, uh, my mother was a witness, but the rest of us didn't have to be witnesses. But my mother had to be a witness and tell when he left home and all that. So we went through all that. And again, that was in Bastrop? Yeah, the trial was in Bastrop. And it just, we just had to sit there and go through all that again and again. And, and how long did the trial take? I think it's two or three days. I can't remember for sure, but we uh, rented an apartment from a little old lady that lived in Bastrop and stayed down there during the trial because it was a long way down there to go. So we stayed down there during the trial and then came back. And what did they do to the men who ex who um, killed him? Oh yes, they found them uh, all guilty. But the one that pulled the trigger got the electric chair. And the other two one of them got life and one of them got 99 years. Now, what the difference is, I never did know, but, because you know 99 years would be a lifetime. However, I'm 90, so. <laughs> <laughs> and were y'all notified when the one that was executed, when that took place, you weren't notified? No, I read that? it in paper. I cut out a little piece of the paper. I watched the paper and uh -huh. saw when he was electrocuted, but I never did know about the others.